We always love doing these videos. It's a chance where we get to sit down and answer a bunch of your questions. So we always have questions coming through from, from your YouTube comments, which we always try and reply to, Instagram and whatever else. Yeah. But recently we asked for a bunch more. We basically keep track of them. We put them all down and then we sit down in a video like this and we answer them. You've probably watched our Q&A before, so you kind of know how it goes, but we're gonna break this one down into recap because there's a bunch of questions that are like always asked, but some people must miss them. <laughs> like, when are you getting married? Um, the normal questions, and then also some quick fire as well, which are the random, quirky, sort of interesting ones. Okay, quick fire. How do you both feel about pineapple on pizza? I'm into it. Ooh. Oh, are you not? I think I am, yes. You're just so like easy breezy with Yeah, everything. I'm too easy breezy, yes. Uh, when is the Hawks Bay video series coming out? So next week, so a week after this video is live. That's all filmed and everything. There's some really cool stuff coming there. Coke or Sprite? Coke on a normal day, Sprite with vodka. What's they said? How old are you both? I'd love it if we, I wish we could ask you to guess first. Oh. Surprise! Everyone probably knows yours. I'm 30. <laughs> uh, I'm 35. Young 35, a sprightly 30 number. Uh, okay, on chips, mayo or ketchup? Oh, it's hard because we went to Belgium and we had the mayo on the chips. So it was really ketchup, good. Ketchup, ketchup. That's ketchup, but then Puma <laughs> fries, I like mayo. Would you visit Scotland again? Yes. Hell yes. Loved it. Have you been to Iceland? No. no. We really want, want to. to. Same for have you been to Sweden? Want to. Want to. Have you been to Hawaii? Yes, you've been many times. Yeah, I've been about three or four times. But that was our first like big overseas yeah. trip together. It was kind of our first cute holiday together. Uh, will you come back to Thailand anytime soon? Yes. Definitely. We're trying to, we really want to go back to Chiang Mai. It's like our second home in a way. So that, yes. Just for the food alone as well, like. Oh, Would you rather see in black and white or hear in mono? I don't think it's supposed to take this last. <laughs> See in black and white. Yeah, I'd see in black and white because in a lot of ways I can't do a really big colour blind. <laughs> no, I see, I do see a lot of colour, but I definitely miss a lot of colour, a lot of shades. So I'd rather be out of here, I think. That was quick fire. Nothing too crazy this time. No, there were some weird ones last time. Yeah, but there was a lot like of weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll pause. <laughs> Maybe we'll pause until we've got our caffeine in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Bunny. What's that one called again? This one's Mocha. Okay, so we actually don't know Oh, look, names. he's just, just lying down. We just come up with our own. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. That is where I threw the uh, blinds out the window when we put the new ones on. I haven't put them in the bin yet. That's <laughs> disgusting. Uh, uh, you know what I'm going to do with this? <laughs> Straight out there. Bye, Bye. Bye. <laughs> You want to do the Q and A with us? Yeah, come on. Hi. That's so funny, but not ideal. The amount of poop down here, but anyway. <laughs> get off with me. Hope I didn't mess that one up. It's not good, is it? Not enough coffee. Oh God, you said two spoonfuls. So the first question is, who makes the coffees normally? <laughs> Mine's not as good either. That's me. Um, <laughs> Frank, Jambalaya, Snowy, Mocha. I'm trying to think of the... Buster. Right, Buster. <laughs> Those are the five bunnies that we have that come and visit and shit all through our lawn. All right, <laughs> They're so cute though. They are. All right, let's do some questions. Okay, do we want to do general questions? You, you, you go for it. Here's one for you. Why, Dane, do you wear all the flyers gear? In my teens, so like early 2000s, is when I first turned on and I actually saw ice hockey for the first time. That's when the Flyers were actually a good team and I watched it and I was just like fascinated. This is this foreign sport for me. Flyers were just the team that I took notice of. I bought the NHL game, I played with the Flyers, and then whenever I played from that point on on PlayStation, I picked the Flyers. A couple of years ago, they were in the playoffs, and I was like, oh shit, they're on right now. Started watching, they were a reasonable team then. Little did I know, it is hell supporting that team. It's hell being the person who supports the person who supports that team. 
I'm an All Blacks fan, so I'm used to winning. <laughs> so it's really, really challenging. But that's the, that's the short story. Okay, well, we shouldn't have started with that one because that was too long. Yeah, because now I'm frustrated. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> this is interesting. Hi, Dana Stacey. I'd like to know, what are your superpowers? Um, As in, like, what superpowers would we want or what superpowers do we have? What superpowers do we have? Hops. Stacey Stace can jump, really. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Did you, now I'm gonna have to jump. I'm not Stace jumping. This can only jump like that high, it's so funny. <laughs> I think I can jump regular high, but you just are very springy. No, it's not about me, this is about you. Let's show them. Okay, so I've put the drink bottle there for scale. Go for it, beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Excellent. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Have you watched any good TV shows recently? We watched, TV, yeah. it's called White Lotus. Mm. The White Lotus? Yeah. It was just something we binged one day. We watched mm. the whole season, so which is so not like us. Think, yeah. And everyone we've spoken to hated it. <laughs> but we thought it was really quirky and really like just different. Really funny. It's almost like a behind the scenes of what happens at big hotels and resorts. Maybe that's maybe, why we liked it. Maybe it's because of our travel experiences. We feel like everybody was like very relatable to yes. some of the things that were going on. Are you stopping travel? Mm. How's it going to happen with the house versus travel, time, cost, lifestyle? Um, COVID forced us into stopping the lifestyle that we were living, the, the overarching like travel non-stop lifestyle. It obviously hasn't stopped us in terms of like our businesses and being nomadic. We're really fortunate that we built the businesses and the income streams and everything prior to the pandemic. We really feel for people that kind of started around the same time because yeah. you just wouldn't have had time to get steam. Um, it severely affected our income, which is mm. not great. And then we've also taken on the biggest cost of moving into a house, which means we're eating into a lot of savings and stuff. In Plus order we, to, like, we live. come from a country that is just ridiculously expensive. Wasn't we third most expensive cost of cost of living versus wages? Is that what it came out recently? Something like that. It's just, out, it's just getting worse and worse and worse anyway. It is tough, yeah. Um, so how does that affect it? Um, we're kind of pinched again a little bit, like we were in the first couple, the first year or so in terms of like, finances to a degree mm. um, but we are very fortunate that we have the sponsors and stuff that we work with and we know that you guys watch them and support them as well so we appreciate that because that helps us keep doing what we're doing during a really challenging yeah. time um, we always wanted a base and we got one right yeah it's really nice having the house but we still have that mm. urge to travel it'll just be go to a place come back go to a place come back yeah um, which financially is not amazing but um, we will never give up travel, I don't think. No. All I can think about is the dog. Is that a question? <laughs> it's actually not, but that is flows into the next question, which nobody actually asked, but people ask about babies. They should be asking about the dog. Well, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make this up. When are you getting a dog? Look, we are closer to getting a dog than ever before. Yeah, I think so. We have the house for it. We can make sure it's fully fenced. We've got the time to train it and We've got people that can look after it when yeah, we go away. Yeah, we've got family away. support and friends that would, that um, would look after them. So... Yeah! Hopefully soon. Hopefully. Why do you always flip the jandals? <laughs> okay, so in a recent video I said... <laughs> always flip the jandals. Always flip the jandals. Some people didn't even know what the jandals were. Flip flops, thongs, whatever you want to call oh, them. Oh, don't say thongs. If you're at the beach and you leave the jandals face up, all they do is attract heat and then you go to leave and you try and stick your tootsies in there and those <laughs> things is on fire. So, Especially if you've got black jandals like us. Mm -hmm. Cushy You're anyway. gonna think that went nuts, <laughs> man. Uh, I'm on the fence about your editing course. What's the feedback been so far? Oh, really, really mm. positive. Like, I was pretty confident the amount of time that I'd spent on it that, that it was good but amazing feedback in fact there's been some in the comments and thank you for those of you guys that have that have dropped a comment to let other people know how good it is we really appreciate that uh, John hope you don't mind he left a comment oh, yeah, a review like a recently review. and basically said like he's been editing for about I think it was about 10 years and for just for family and home video stuff um, but sort of always knew that something was was kind of missing in that recipe so to speak and now it's all just sort of sunk and now he's like really excited and that really means a lot seeing something like that come through so makes me so proud hearing yeah. that because like obviously i'm a little bit biased but yeah it is it, it is amazing my feedback would be like if somebody like john who's been editing for 10 years has gone wow this is how i should be doing it for those of you that have never started or not considered like 
<laughs> you can save 10 years by just watching five hours <laughs> exactly. of video. It's unbelievable. What's invisible but you wish people could see? Huh? That's a weird question. Happiness. Oh. oh, that's really nice. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of see happiness through like a smile and a dog wagging its tail and no, stuff. But, but that... like if you could see that. Oh, I cool. love that Because I feel like you'd see it and it would be contagious like a yawn. 100%. I instantly start to think about, I've seen these things online about like parents that teach their kids to just express when they're happy. Mm. You know, and they're just doing something and playing by themselves and they just go, I'm happy. That's like, so cute. That is the most contagious shit ever. So imagine if you had like a, a bar that was like bing, 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 yes. bing. You know, when something good happens, that would be really yeah, cute. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, we had lots of questions about my eye surgery. I'm so happy I did it. Mm. I wish I'd done it sooner, and I've not had any complications, touch wood, thank goodness. Mm. I wake up in the morning now and I can see and it just feels normal. I can go swimming and not worry about my contacts falling out. Yeah. Open my eyes underwater the other day for the first time. Oh, that's right. You did I didn't like that. <laughs> not fun, but yeah, really, really good. And fast recovery too, well worth it. Yeah, I'm still paying off my left eye, but hey, it's worth it. Give it back. <laughs> Are you having fun? In this moment, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, we do have fun. Yeah. I would say there are moments that we that we probably don't, the challenges, but I'd say that's probably what's put out there by the universe and restrictions on, yeah. you know, the last couple of years. There, there have definitely been some times that have been pretty tough. I know we got some, I can't find it on here, but I know we got a question about, um, oh, here it is. You guys always seem happy. Do you fight, has COVID been hard for you? <laughs> I had to laugh at that one because yesterday, I woke up this morning and I actually had to apologize to Dane for yelling at him yesterday. <laughs> Cause we're just a normal couple. Like, mm. of course we fight, but no one's gonna go and grab the camera when we're fighting and be like, put it in each other's faces. Yeah, that's true. We like to add the realness and leave all that in, but you know, we're not generally filming when we're having an argument or fighting about something. No, that is a good point. And it is rare that you yell at me, just for the record, it's not like that. I'm not right. a yeller. No. I like to walk away <laughs> and like, decide how I'm feeling about something. Yeah, it used to be the cold shoulder walk away, but now it's more of the like, I think it's best if we both, you know, like we've been working on our communication. That's something that we've had to do just like everybody else. Yeah, well, when you live and work together and do everything together 24 seven, you kind of have to find ways to like, make sure you're both. Yeah, very true. On the same page. What else? What did the sea say to the sand? Who wrote that one? Oh, wow. Where'd you get that one from? <laughs> Uh, I don't. One? I don't remember. <laughs> I just. I've taken this from three or four different places. Uh, what did the sea say to the sand? If you know the answer, put it in the comments. Cause yeah, I... you. You tell us. <laughs> what is that? Well, my mind is tripping. Uh, what is the absolute worst travel experience you guys have had? Have we talked about this before? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm not trying to make it seem like kind of relating back to what you said about we try and show the realness. We do, we are genuinely pretty positive when it comes to travel and we do have bad experiences, but we, I feel like we just black them out. Like I, I yeah, actually don't, I don't hold on to that stuff. I want to limit, so I can't even think of anything. I think the other, like the flip side of that as well is like you're very calm and like chill. You okay? This is a first for us. Everything was so delayed, we had to go through security as well. F11. So when something bad happens, like we kind of just adapt and like, well, I won't, <laughs> Dane will. <laughs> I'll get mad about it. But I can't- I wish we had a better story yeah, though. Yeah, I can't really think, like we've had some like sketchy experiences, like in Athens. Yeah, we've been followed and someone was clear, like in midnight or something with suitcases, someone was clearly trying to take advantage. And then there was like a junkie at the front door and we couldn't get in. What do you guys do to stay fit? Like, how are you still in shape? <laughs> Take it away. So there's kind of three things that you can do in order to like be be healthy or be fit or be in shape, whatever you want to call it. That's like resistance training, cardio, and food. I hate cardio, but you, oh, I just put the fuck up, I'm sorry. Like you, <laughs> cardio. But yeah, that's how much I hate cardio. So for me or for us, it's always nutrition. And then more so for me is, is weights. Um, the hardest thing is as I'm getting older is just when I start to make some progress, I'm so quickly set back. Just yesterday I went to squat and my knees were like, <laughs> no dude, <laughs> not today, not today. Nay. Not <laughs> Nay, not today. Nay, not, not today. today, not today. Yeah, that's tough. So, and then I woke up this morning and my back's sore from doing mm. some other stuff. So now I like, that's the day out. 
Um, so that's when you have to rely on nutrition because that is more important than anything. I'm just gonna keep it real and say like, I'm off the bandwagon right now. I have, I have months, years, seasons where I do really well and I'm on board with the nutrition and the working out and everything. And then I have other times where I just listen to my body and I just take a nap instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the so fourth, so sorry, careful. the fourth thing was napping. <laughs> yeah, napping. Hibernation, sorry, is the, is the, uh, the correct term. <gasps> Have you ever stayed in an overwater bungalow resort? Ooh, awkward. Who asked that? Oh, this is like the tippity top of my bucket list. I really want to stay at an overwater bungalow, whether it's in Tahiti, the Maldives, I don't care where it is. You want to sponsor me? <laughs> I'm down to go to an overwater bungalow. Yeah, we really do dream of that. I reckon somebody has picked up that that was part of your bucket list at some stage and then it's just like... Well, when are you going to do it? Yeah, just ask, just really dig it in. ASAP is the answer to that. How many hours do you guys work per week? Uh, I think we've found a much better balance now that we are traveling for a period and then home for a period. The lead up period to going away is chaotic and sometimes that's easily 10 to 12 hour days for before one of our trips recently for about a week mm. maybe a week and a half i mean that might sound excessive and it, it really was we were exhausted by the time we went away that's far from ideal otherwise yeah. i'd say it's probably pretty close to the standard like 40 45 yeah but then when we go away on a trip obviously we're trying to make like really down to earth relatable travel adventures like we do but then we like to be really prepared and share information with you guys. So there's a lot of work beforehand. There's a lot of work in between filming as well, trying to think like what's going to add some value yeah. as well. So and even then while we're the away, of actually setting a trip up. At 100%. Um, any more house plans? As you can see, we've still got the old couches. <laughs> we saw the kitchen earlier. That's not done either. Oh, we uh, we do have house plans. Yeah. We just like we were saying earlier. There's just so much going on. Like what with. You know, we're away for a week, we're back for a week and doing heaps of work and then catching up and then planning the next trip and mm. then how do you build a kitchen in between all of that? So yeah. when the time is right, like it's definitely still on the list and we've got... We're still chipping away at we're, stuff, We're chipping basically. away. It's, ne yeah. it's never ended, but we've sidelined some big projects like carpet and kitchen just purely based on timings, finances, mm. availability, costs going up. Um, yeah. all that kind of materials stuff. Materials as well, it's kind and of a tough one. to jump to another question that I know is in there is like, are you traveling internationally again? We did an update video sort of recently-ish that we mentioned that 100% yes we are. And that's most likely to Australia to begin with. Yep. And it's either gonna be, which is actually another question in there, where and when we go to Australia. Not sure about when, but I think we're looking at either Darwin or Tasmania. Tasmania. So those are both two destinations. If you if you swing one way or the other, please let us know. Like, which would you go to? Look, I'm going to my overwater bungalow. <laughs> I don't know if you can get one there. <laughs> that would be nice, though. Would you ever buy a van and convert it? Yeah, I mean, we can... <laughs> uh, we... That was, like, 0% convincing. <laughs> Do you know what? My instinct is to say... Yes, I yes. would love to. But then I think about the house and the renovations and it's always so much easier like in your head and oh, on Pinterest yeah. than it is actually to do that. Yeah. I like the idea of just a brand new van. Yeah, especially because we've got the house. Like The house is our big project on that. It would sense. be cool though. We do love a good um, van life series. Yeah. Are you guys still going to do your NZ tour and are there still spots? Ooh, yes is the answer. That was really rough as well. That was another thing that we spent so long on. Yeah. And maybe maybe we're a bit excited because timings weren't quite right with borders and stuff. But yeah. yes, yes is the answer. We will, but we instantly went back into lockdown, which cancelled all the tours. Mm. Um, and and then, our international friends couldn't yeah, get in. Yeah, a lot of you guys couldn't get there anyway. So 100% yes, like a lot of it is planned out. We have the relationships in place. We'll pick it back up when... when um, when the time is right, when we can make sure that it's a bit more inclusive for everybody. Let's jump to the recap oh, slash yeah. yes. FAQs. Okay, <laughs> it is the FAQs, the DNS FAQs. Is it Danger or Daniger? Okay, right, yeah, the Daniger and Stacey FAQs. I, that's like <laughs> one of our biggest regrets, eh? Yeah, I wish we'd just called our channel Dane and Stacey. So my, my name is Dane. Some of you guys call me Dan. My name is that, Jeff. That's okay. <laughs> 
we kind of went Dane, Jur, but people instantly think it's Daniger and we get emails being like Daniger. Is Daniger even a name? No, I don't think so. so. But the trouble is we're too committed now. You can't you can't change our URL for like YouTube. We can't, we've already done that once. You we might can't as well change just websites, change your name like on your... All our socials, it's, it's, we're stuck on it. But so my name's Dane or Danger. So now he has to change his birth <laughs> Why am I struggling with my words? <laughs> you drink more coffee. Um, okay. How did you meet? We met on Tinder, of all places. Um, I don't really know what else to say about that. I don't that. think we need to, because these are recaps. We've kind of been over this stuff. So yeah, I, go I think... and watch our other Q and A's if you want to <laughs> if you want to hear the whole story. What's the story behind your tattoo? Yeah, so I mentioned that in another Q and A recently. Um, for my brother that had passed away. So there's kind of like a, a cross and some notes and everything. The Celtic connection with the knots is, is from the research that I'd done at the time was around like the continuation from life into spirit. So yeah. the knots never end. So it was just kind of a nice way to remember that he's still kind of here. He's still kind of here with us. It was my 21st birthday present that I paid for some, my parents paid for some, and that was their kind of contribution. Yeah, so I love that. That's nice. It means a lot to us. <laughs> Marriage. When are you getting married? <laughs> uh, we want to get married overseas. More than likely Bali if we can, so that's not happening anytime Let's soon. Let's recap this though. We got engaged in 2018. We met coming up to eight years this year, mm. eight years ago. So it's been a long time. We've slipped behind, you know, other relationships by a long way, but we don't live a conventional life, do we? Is that a wrap? I think so. I mean, you've got the question. <laughs> I mean, it is all right. We've been jibber-jabbering for so long. We have been. Sorry, if you see me looking down at the phone, I've got the, uh, I can see us on here. Oh no, now it's the typical awkward Danger and Stacey sign off. Well, only, it's only awkward if you make it. <laughs> <laughs> is that it, do you think? Yeah, I think that's it. Those are all the most exciting questions anyway. Okay. Um, no doubt there'll be another Q and A sometime in the future. So if you, if this has sparked like a random mm -hmm. thought mm -hmm. or interesting question, leave them in the comments and we will do another one sometime soon. But don't ask us when we're gonna get married about the tattoo <laughs> or about his name. Thanks for hanging out though. Thank you for making it this long in based on my maths. About 17 or 18 minutes that you've made it in. That's, that's quite good. Great job. Catch you next time anyway. Bye. See ya.